Hi guys, as you can see in the distance there, that's a drop of Boland. Um, I'm in Lancashire at the moment. It's roughly about 20 past 11. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to come out because um, the sun's out. Um, the sun's quite high up in the sky, so it makes it quite nice because at the moment what it's doing is it's kind of in the distance there, not too sure if you can see it, but there's a massive Scots pine and it's looking beautiful with the sun just hitting the side of it. So what I'm going to try and do is if you look down here, I'm going to try and use this little brook as a leading line up to that Scots pine. When I set up in a second, I'll talk you through my settings um, and just my thought process of what I can, what I think is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through the shot, um, just show you some little tips. So. You can see my finger is there. That's my um, kind of my foreground interest. It's going to lead all the way up along the riverbank towards this Scotch pine there. Now just being hit with the sun, it looks amazing. What, I do, what at the moment I've got a polarizer on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 0.6 grad. Now if I just turn the polarizer and you watch the bottom, if you watch this corner here, if I just turn the polarizer a little second, you can see the glare going away as we talk. So we're just going to turn the polarizer to the right. And that's just reduced the glare a little bit, but I'm still getting the sunlight hitting the rocks in the foreground. So my settings are f11, ISO 64, and it's a 1 2 50 for the second. And uh, what I'll do is I'll post the image in a second. So as you can see, I've turned round and I'm actually facing the flow of the water at the moment. And this yellow tree in the distance there, um, this seems to have caught my eye a little bit. And what it is at the moment, the sun's hitting it. Um, it looks really nice. So what I'm using, at, just in the foreground here, if I pull it down a little bit, there's a lot of rocks where the stream's coming down. It's looking really nice as well. So I've got F11, I've got a three stop filter on and I've got a 0.3 soft edge grad just to try and reduce that um, the blue sky a little bit. There is some clouds coming past at the moment which is making it look really nice so we'll see how it goes. I'll take this shot and if the image is any good I shall post it in a second. So guys, for my last shot of the day, before I go home, I've simply moved up probably about another 200 meters and I've noticed this old um, wall that they've built here on the left-hand side. 
just round here, it's leaning itself round this beautiful oak tree with the with the light still hitting it. Um, like I say, I think this place will be absolutely amazing first thing in the morning when the, the sky, um, and maybe some mist or even a little bit of snow round here. It will be absolutely perfect. Um, it's fairly accessible um, and you could spend all day just walking around, kind of um, enjoying yourself basically. So the settings I've got at the moment for this shot, I've got the polarizer on again, you can just see. Um, if I just turn it there a little bit. Just reducing that glare in the water at the bottom and on the on the blue as well on the cloud. So F11, ISO 64, and I'm going for one two hundredth of a second. And um, if the image is any good, I shall post it in a second. guys so I hope you enjoyed this little vlog I've been um, it's been amazing to be fair um, although it's like I think it's now nearly 12 o'clock I think the conditions are, are okay you know you can go out and shoot during the day you don't have to be tied to first thing in the morning or last thing at night but I do believe this place would probably be better at a sunset or a sunrise but it's not stopping you there's, there's some amazing shots to be had um, you know, you can come out any time of the day. You don't have to be tied to first thing in the morning or last thing at night. So if you're short on time and you're thinking, I can't do a sunrise or I can't do a sunset, just come out during the day and just simply enjoy yourself. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the little tips I give you. I hope you um, enjoyed the images. Leave comments below. And until next time, have a good weekend.